we use this unsheathing technique to avoid interaction with the left atrial wall. When the left disc is fully formed, it will have a funnel shape. You can see here, we then pull it back towards the septum to pull back tension on that septum to continue to deploy the right disc. This ensures that the left disc is formed on the left atria and the right disc is formed in the right atria. You do have the opportunity to uh, reposition the device after initial deployment. To do this, you reload the right disc into the delivery catheter, adjust your placement on the septum, and then redeploy that right disc. To lock the device, you will move the occluder lock to the right, and this releases the tension in the device and allows for a tension-free assessment. You will still be attached to the delivery system by the retrieval cord at this point. To release the device in the heart, you will then remove the re uh, retrieval cord. and you'll see the catheter fall away. One benefit of this uh, device design is that prior to releasing the device, you do have the ability to retrieve the occluder and remove it from the heart utilizing the delivery catheter. <laughs> 